Colorado's legislators get an update on the state's financial forecast every three months, right on schedule, even on days like today when they braced for the damage expected from COVID-19. Our Marshall Zellinger also took a look. I think some of us are a little... A little stressed out about this right now. Democratic Representative Denea Escar is the head of the state's Joint Budget Committee, which was allowed to meet today despite the legislature being on hiatus because they're responsible for figuring out how much the state has and where it should go. It feels like the rug got pulled out from under us. I mean, we had these expectations, we had these plans going forward, and now all of that is on the table. All of it needs to be revisited. The committee gets two budget updates, one from the governor's budget director, who provided some good news. I'd like to reassure folks that there's no immediate concern about available funds to respond to the coronavirus crisis. The other budget update comes from Legislative Council staff, a nonpartisan group that advises lawmakers. This is a, a good way to kind of contextualize how much money you have to work with. Both updates predict less money than the state thought it was going to have. But this one from Legislative Council, which is more conservative, illustrates it well. In December, lawmakers were told they would have $832 million more than they budgeted last year. $832 million more to play with starting in July. Today, that number shrunk to $27 million. Any new programs that were proposed will have to be revisited. Uh, you saw that um, we barely have enough uh, enough money to afford current yeah. operations of state government. Then there's the part of state law that requires K through 12 to get more money every year because of inflation. We may have to either change state law or try to find the money elsewhere. The bottom line, it's a kind of a worst case scenario is to plan for the same money in 2020 and 2021 that we're currently spending right now. Now you probably noticed something a little odd in that video, some extra protection on the microphones. This is a committee hearing room that won't be used often in the coming weeks because the legislature will barely meet. Just some of that extra padding to protect for whatever the padding is supposed to protect for. Here's something else I learned in that meeting. The Tabor refunds we were expecting next year and the year after. The money we get back when the state collects too much. The money that was on the ballot this past November that voters rejected letting the state keep for roads and schools. Kyle, that money is likely gone because the state is projecting not having as much as it thought it was going to have. So it's not going to have the money to refund back to voters that we thought we were going to have. Oh, interesting. OK, so it's not as if it's back to voters in the end. It just kind of goes into the ether. So much of this seems like it's all based in uncertainty, though. I mean, we start with this idea of we're going to shut down this or that for three weeks or for four weeks or whatever else. Mm -hmm. but there's no guarantee that anything reopens at that point. So how do they forecast? You know what I mean? I mean, this is based on what we know now, but it's yeah. the sales tax they have to project, job loss. They projected we're at 2.5 percent unemployment right now. And that came the, in this meeting. The projection was maybe it's going to go to 3.1 percent. Mm -hmm. So they're even projecting some troublesome areas as well. I don't know how you budget that. That's why people get paid a lot more than I do to be smarter than I am. But that's something that we're going to have to watch over the next few weeks and months is how does the lack of money coming into the state in certain areas yeah. impact statewide? Yeah, we want folks to keep the lines of communication open with us about what can be done to help their businesses, help their personal situations and their state legislators too. Now's the time to be calling folks up and emailing them and saying, here's my situation. Hey, I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Let's get all those ideas. All right. Thank you, Marshall.